Good? Can you hear? Okay, I don't know if you can hear us. But um, <laughs> welcome to the meeting. I am going to interview Ashley and Thomas Hughes, Triple Diamond Leaders above us. So I have some questions for them, so I'll just ask it and then they'll tell us our um, answers. So when did you join It Works? March 28th, 2013. And then why did you join and when you looked at the average, I wish I had a party pad. When you looked at the average monthly earnings chart, what was your goal like when you actually got into it? Mine was Ruby. I honestly didn't even let myself look past them, past Ruby, because I was like, no way, you know, there's no way that those were ever going to be possible for me. So Ruby, I was very, like, I was like, if I could earn $500, $600 extra, then that would be life-changing for my family. So that's, that was my goal. Is that the only question that you had on that yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. Or why did you join? Is that why? Did you answer that in there? No. I joined just to make a few extra hundred a month because he was working full time and overtime, so there was really nothing more he could bring in. It was like, well, if there's something I could do. But I was like, okay, I'm pregnant. I have twins. There's no way I can really go get a job right now. Well, if I did, then most of it would go back, right back into daycare. So we all know that's not cheap. So that was really the whole thing. It was just if I could make a few extra hundred. To help us out with bills. Did you get. join for the money of the products at the beginning? I joined because I said if, the, <laughs> if that route works, then I can make a lot of money. That's Got really it. what I thought. And it did. So I was like, oh, I'm totally high. selling this. Yeah. <laughs> and sold it all. I did. Okay, when did you realize that you were all in? Okay, let's see. I. She I would was say, all in from the very well, yeah, that, day like, one. <laughs> no, no, like, I just mean you yeah. are not quitting. Yeah. Like you realize I, this is it. Probably when I hit executive. As funny as that is, I was like, no, that's yeah. It was. I hit it. I remember even like three hundred bucks a month. Yeah, the next three hundred. I hit that on day nine. I didn't even know I hit it. Someone in my upline was like, "Hey, I think you just hit executive." I'm like, "I don't know. I don't know." Because it is. wasn't on here. But yeah. what was your first check? My first check was thirteen dollars. Nice. What was your second? Five, uh, five eighty-five, I think. But I did join at the end of the month, so I mean, but still, still yeah. thirteen was my very first check. Yeah. Okay. So, what are two big tips you wish you knew when you joined? I wish that I knew more with the steps to success, like what those did. We didn't even know about the hundred twenty product credit. No. <laughs> no. Like I, I did not teach any of my team those at the beginning, and I think that's why when I hit, I hit Ruby fast, but then I was like, um. Well, what are they all? What? How do I go on from here? And I didn't really know the steps to success, and I didn't really. I never taught you them, and you were like one of my no. first distributors. So, so I joined. Yeah. I joined what? The twenty eighth. Yeah. And I joined the thirty first. Okay. Yeah. So we jumped in like okay, together, I I'll do basically. This, yeah. Whatever. I don't think I even knew what this was. No. I don't. Me either. I didn't know. The I didn't know. Success, I knew nothing. Just I'm gonna try the products, and I loved them. Yeah. So okay, what are the three biggest tips you could give to somebody new or even DTs who have been in for a while? Well, backs of the steps to success, honestly. If you just work that every single month, but you also teach your team to do it. So if you were signing, like, let's say three distributors a month, that was your goal, three a month, but you're teaching them the same thing. Just like, and we'll say today you decide, okay, I'm going to do this, you know, and maybe you've been in for six months, but today you decide you're going to do the steps to success, and you make sure no matter what, if you need to have five parties, whatever you got to do to fill this out every month. And if you're teaching your team that same thing, within six months from the first day you start, you'd have 972 distributors. Well, even on the second month, if you did, got these your first month, mm -hmm. let's see, I think you'd have 15. Yeah. Just on the second month. Yeah. So that's why this is so important. Yeah. And even if you don't do it like one month, it's not the end of the world. You have next month to yeah, exactly. start over. So I always keep mine somewhere. I'm going to see mine on my I fridge. I just saw it on the, yeah, on the second Yeah, fridge. really, it's really there. And it you, and like, I've never hung it up until. February and I filled three of them out. Yeah. So when so you, you don't see even it, realize, you yeah, you're like, oh my gosh. When you see it every single day, do you not walk by and like, oh, okay, I need to do this. Yeah. You know what I So I'm, I'm filling out the second one right now, but I'm still short a little bit of loyal customers on the first one. But I have over three distributors, so I'm like, it's it's good to actually see that because then you know, mm -hmm. oh, I'm actually doing it. So you said three so things. That was one. Okay. Steps to success. That is a big one. What was the question again? What rap, advice? I would say wrap people. Three biggest yeah. tips. More than anything. More than anything. Physically get wrapped yeah. with somebody. Because I can't tell you how many times I've gotten my two boxes of wraps and then 
did nothing with them, and then I get my next auto ship, and now I have four. But if I, in the beginning, I made sure every wrap that came to my house was sold and on well, like, somebody. When they say put two boxes of wraps in your auto ship it, make it a goal to wrap those eight people yeah. because that's eight people that you just put a wrap on that they're going to see results that they're going to go out and spread and share. The yeah. Results. I'll tell you what, if you're not wrapping free. people, you're not working your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that. what this business is made off of the wrap. Yeah. I know we have other great products, this, like, but oh, yeah. the wrap <laughs> is the face of the entire company. So if you're not wrapping people, you will not grow your business, I promise. So even yeah. as simple as getting, you don't have to know anything about how the wrap works. You just have to wrap people. If they ask you questions, you know what, I don't know, but I'll find out. Yeah. What's your email? Mm -hmm. Bam. And then Contact you have a way to follow What's your phone them, number? Yeah. I'll text you. Mm -hmm. So number three. Okay, wrapping people, definitely. Um, I would say literally, okay, yeah, consistency, maybe mm -hmm. there's another one too. You Being consistent, <laughs> because, um, had I not been, I don't think I would Well, like, a lot of people will push for one month, and then the next month they just kind of like, Uh-huh, and then nobody and then knows the if they're really, or are they still even doing I it? I watched or? a conference call, I don't know if it was a video conference call with Major. Okay. And, no, I just totally spaced it. Or consistency. Con yeah. I'll tell you, hold on. So, Being consistent, yeah. I'll tell you what. If we weren't consistent, we would have never got our rock star in Texas. Mm -hmm. This girl watched us for a year. Mm -hmm. She sat back and was like, and I, will I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She watched for a whole year and then all of a sudden, one post caught her attention. Mm -hmm. And well, now she's a like, double diamond in 60 days. Yeah. We've been so be consistent with everyone. Yeah. And you still have people that have watched you that entire time. My best yeah. friend Lucas just joined and he's watched for a whole year. Mm -hmm. Him and his wife finally were like, hey, you've never bugged us about it. You haven't been like, We've been waiting for you to ask, and now I kind of felt stupid because I was like, you know what? I've had that. Why didn't I talk to him? Because yeah. he was my best friend. I hung out with him every day, but I was like, I don't want to be that pushy salesperson to him and, you know, jeopardize our friendship, kind of. Well, he came to me and was like, hey, I want to join. Yeah. What do I have to do? And I was like, oh, well, this is what you got to do. He head. waited for yeah. a year, and now he jumped in. So, so yeah. another thing, too, off the subject, kind of, is being an asker. It, you feel annoying, and you feel like pushy and stuff, but if you never asked them, like if I never asked her, somebody else would have came along and got her. Or do you know what I mean? Like, just ask them. They can tell you no, mm -hmm. they can tell you yes. If you don't tell them, no, somebody else will. Exactly. So and it, there's um, a girl that had like three girls she went to school with that were ambassadors. Somebody else went, randomly asked her to join and she joined with them. And someone asked her, why don't you join with all these ambassadors you knew? And she's like, they never asked me. Mm -hmm. So. Be a professional asker. I'm sorry, that was totally off the subject. Oh, that's a, that's Perfect. a really good one. Um, that thing about major, what was it? She was saying, don't be a bipolar distributor, meaning, mm -hmm. oh yeah, don't go post all month every day and then all of a sudden fall apart. Then two months later, come back and post, and then because people like let people know you are an it works distributor. Like this is what you do. Oh, Andrea, yeah, she's a distributor. Like I had a lady I work with. She goes, I was in. All in all, I don't even know why it got brought up, but the girl's like, I was a distributor, and she's like, yeah, I'm a, I know Andrea, she, she's Double Diamond, I work with her, and I'm like, and she goes like, I like, act like you were my child. <laughs> I don't even like really know this about you, but she, she sees yeah. all my Facebook, you know what I mean? Yeah. So she feels like she knows that part of my life. So don't be a bipolar one, sorry, this is totally off. No, that's a, good, that's a good tip. Okay, so the third tip was consistency. Yeah, was there, there was something else I was going to say, but I'll probably remember for okay. a minute. <laughs> so... What are some of your tips to having a successful party? Okay, a successful party. The number one thing that will probably get you more loyal customers and distributors than anything is you being excited. They really, people feed off of that. They're like, oh my gosh, she's so excited. People Maybe. feed off passion. Mm -hmm. If you don't have passion for something, no one's going to care what you have to say. Mm -hmm. But if you come into that party and you're like, you know what, I don't know every answer to every question. But I'm excited and I'm happy to be I here and I cannot product, yeah, wait I for it. all of you to try what I <laughs> yeah. tried. I can't wait for you guys to see what I did. Passion is key in any business there is. I always say, if I'm ever going to do any type of business deal with anyone, I look at the passion they have for it. Yeah. If they come to me and they're like, yeah, I kind of want to do this, I'm like, okay, whatever. You don't care. You don't really care about that business. You just want to make money. But if you have passion for it and you love the business, then people are like, hey, I have more passion for this business than I have for fighting. I promise, I really do. I care more about this business than I do for my lifelong dream of being a fighter. Yeah. Because I've seen what this does to people, I've seen it change people's lives, I've seen it change their future. I have watched people get financial freedom from this that I personally know, and that makes me happier than anything. Yeah. It makes me have that drive and that fire inside that makes me share it with you guys and you guys can feel it. You know, you want everyone to feel that. They get there, I don't care if one person shows up or 20. Mm -hmm. You have that same fire. And yeah. never let that go. I always say, 
that remember the commitment that you that you had when you got that feeling to join this business. Mm -hmm. Always remember that. Hold on to that. When you start to get discouraged, back, like, wait, I gotta remember the commitment I made to do this business and the feeling I had that made me want to join. Always remember that. Keep on to that and hold it because mm -hmm. that's how we gotta keep. Every morning when we wake up, keep, like, we up. watch YouTube videos and we motivate ourselves because that's what we know we need to do. We need to keep that passion, that fire. Another another thing with um, parties. Always make sure you bring up being a distributor because I. There's used been to times not, where I yeah. get on the side and I'm like, hey. Okay, uh, it's over. The no. party's over. Yeah, it I doesn't do matter. You just always do it. Yeah, and I went to a party uh -huh. and this girl, she was like a friend of a friend, came and she's like, I'm just supporting my friend. I'm not gonna buy. I'm not gonna nothing. Set up as a distributor when she left. So you yeah. never know. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, you never know. And so, um, with that, always the last video Christy De Jesus posted about um kind of like the objections we all get, like, well, it's too saturated or something like that, you know. She had really good answers to all that, but she said oh, when she does deal. parties, she leads, she starts the discussion as a, you know, explaining the distributor part, she, because she said, I want everyone to see through distributor eyes before, if you if you start with um, being a retail customer, then loyal customer, then end with the, with, um, the business side, that you, she says you kind of have missed it, it. you know, but once you've started with that, you know, like, oh, I just need all this help, the art, it's, it's booming here, and um, you're just really excited about it, and then you lead into the loyal customer, and if that's not for you, and, show them the steps yeah, I always show the like, steps to success, and yeah. I say, if they can't commit to that, then you're better off as a loyal customer. Do so you think this is something you do? Can you yeah. get three There was another thing, they another say no. video. Yeah. So they they even ask, customer. okay, do you know four people that would buy the product? Do you know three people? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Like you already did it. Yep. So you know, you could be a distributor. Yeah. You know. So get it in their mind. Okay, and everybody would that say easy. yes because they everybody could find four people that want it. The people that come to yeah. our parties that are like, oh, I, I want to be a loyal customer. I, I talk to all of them and I say, okay, look, you want to be a loyal customer, that's awesome. We love loyal customers. But remember, everyone that you refer to this business mm -hmm. actually makes money off. Not mm -hmm. you. Not you. But if you refer them to yourself and you become a distributor, you get to make money. Mm -hmm. Which I, I don't care either way. Whatever you want to do is, is great for us. Yeah. But, do you want to profit off of your own referrals, or do you want us to profit off? Mm -hmm. So, remember, put that in their head. Don't be afraid to say that. Be like, okay, just so you know, like, I love loyal customers. Our business is based off loyal customers. Mm -hmm. It's great. But, also, if you're referring people, like, everybody does. Everybody I, I can't happen to tell you one person that yeah. doesn't refer someone. This girl's like, I gotta order my dad and my sister at Greens. And I was like, okay, do you want to make money, or do you want me to make money? She's like, oh. oh so she might actually join. Yeah. So just for me, putting it in her mind. Yeah, because a lot of people don't even think about it. In mm -hmm. fact, we did a meeting for Anastasia's team last night, and she said, she's like, do you remember in the beginning, I, sh I did her eyelash extensions. Um, she was just one of my clients, and she sent me so many people. She she would come and buy, like, four boxes of wraps for me and sell them to people, and I was the one making money. And she's like, I never even thought of me being a distributor. Had I said, why don't you be, I don't know why I didn't, but yeah. I was like, well, look, you could have just made, like, a couple money. hundred dollars just there. But yeah, sometimes you gotta be the one to put it in their mind because they don't think about it. Mm -hmm. Another thing too about passion too is be a product of the product. Mm -hmm. Do you guys use products every day? Have you? Yeah. You're new, so you don't have really yeah, much. <laughs> yeah. And you love it, right? So you can go yeah. and share. Like, oh my gosh, my hair skin nails. Look at this picture. Yeah. I actually I'm so bad. I work at Costco, and this lady was returning her skin nails yesterday. I was like, yeah, that's not good. Um, and I like yeah. slipped it to her. She's like, what is? That? I'm like, just. <laughs> like I get so good trouble for it, but I was like, she has to know about this product. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. just be a product of the product. That really does help. Um, and work up some parties. Let me think. Parties. I say at the very beginning of the party, wrap everybody that wants to wrap. Get the wrap on them. Take the before picture. Wait. At the end, put the after. Put them side by side. And say here yeah. you go. Yeah, and show them at the party. Yeah. Because if they go home, they'll be like, oh, they won't even take it. the picture 90% of the time because they're like, oh, I don't see abs. Nothing so, happens. Yeah. Yep. yep. I say do that at the party. And I always ask, if anybody ever says, why oh, didn't get results? Always first ask, um, did you take your pictures? 90% of the time it's, oh, no, I didn't. I didn't because mm -hmm. I didn't think there was results. And that was, I'm like, okay, I'm the perfect example of that because I almost <laughs> didn't take a picture and he felt so bad for me. He's like, you were so excited to try this and it didn't work. And then we compare the pictures, I'm like, night and day difference. Mm -hmm. Like, cellulite and then I actually just posted it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I'm like, I'll use this one. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, make sure that. And also let everybody know if you want to do four. 
Because when oh, I bought my first wrap, was... I always you always want to make sure that they know four is a treatment. Don't even make a judgment on it until they've done the full treatment. So I saw I I watched so many videos and you conference calls. I don't know yeah. which what, but they said when you put a wrap on them, let them know at the party this is the sample. How mm -hmm. are we going to get you to um, finish your treatment? Are you going to become a little customer? Or are you going to become a distributor? You need to finish this treatment. You just did a sample. Now how are you going to get the yeah. box? So I thought that was really That's good. That's way so good. So put it in their mind. That's like, a sample oh, you need to finish the treatment. I don't want to pay a hundred dollars to do it, you know. I thought that was really yeah. good. Um, so you, uh, let's see, you just went to your first corporate event, Green Carpet. Um, I've been to two of them and it changed me. So what are your take on? Oh events? my gosh, totally go. <laughs> I went. My very first event, I would say, was and it wasn't obviously corporate, but it was um, <laughs> like a one team one mission. Oh, that's still corporate. But it was um, actually down in Provo. Me and one of my distributors went. Brooke. It wasn't corporate. It, it was. was oh, it was different. just like they were putting like on Michelle like a. Most of that. Oh, yeah, Michelle. It. Michelle did it, and I remember watching them just being in the same room. I was as a Ruby, you know, and I was like, yes, I'm a Ruby, and then watching all these people. Um, oh, I'm making like twenty thousand a month, you know, and I'm like. These guys are no different than me, and I think that's where you realize when you're when at you things like that. Because when you see these numbers, yeah, they're not think, real. Mm -mm. Like even Ruby, I was like, okay, anything after Ruby is fake. Yeah, nobody it's can do not that. Real. That's it's not, not real. real. But it is. Yeah. Like, and I went to we went to Odin last July or August, uh -huh. and you see these people get on stage, and you're like, they're making that. Yeah. Yeah. Like the holy cow, this is real. These are real people on stage telling their story, mm -hmm. and it like some of them hit you to where it changes you inside because yeah. you're connected to that one person. You yeah. know what I mean? That's why it's so. really important, I think, because you will find someone you connect with mm -hmm. and then you're like, they are seriously the same, they have the same story as I do, mm -hmm. you know? So. What about green carpet? Green like, carpet? Oh yeah, it'll never be the same <laughs> after that. I can't wait for the next one. And, and you can't even conference. explain how it changes you, it just does. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's not, you can't, um, is it the right word? Did you like see the replicate? passion? You're in a room with 10,000 people. Yeah. That love to do what you do. If you're and watching crazy it on TV, like you are, it's you know just I mean? not the same. If you're watching it on YouTube or on TV, it's not. Nope. Than being there, yeah. So I would say, make sure you try to go to them. I my first one team one mission was probably where I got the passion for the business from. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it I'll say. Yeah. At green carpet when we were sitting down in all the VIP section, and I looked up at the crowd, and I was like, holy cow, we were all we were up there as brand new distributors. Mm -hmm. We were in that group of people. There are thousands of people screaming and cheering us on being down in the VIP mm -hmm. section. And I'm looking around me and every single person has an amazing story that started with one. Mm -hmm. Nobody started any higher than anyone in this business. Yeah. We didn't have any upper hand than any of you. It's just Ashley wanted it. And so she went and got it. It's as simple as that. If you want it, you'll go and get it. And she's There's no nobody that will pick you up and nope. carry you. There's <laughs> My friend gave me a little quote the other day. He's like, you can help a thousand people, but you can't carry three. So yeah. it just you have to do it on your own. You're not, no one's gonna. I can motivate you guys every day, and I can give you cool speeches and pump you up it's all the time. But yeah. if you're not motivating yourself and you don't have that fire and that drive to go get those people, then it's not gonna happen for you. You have to want it. Mm -hmm. You have to do whatever it takes. If you're not changing something in your daily routine, then you're not gonna get there. You gotta switch whatever you're doing and change it up to angle you towards your goal and what you want. Oh, real fast, back to the party thing. Remember um, the kiss one? So when you're talking to potential, We actually, we have a new yeah. distributor that he did summer sales. And yeah. he was like, we were talking about blitzing and how you got to keep it simple. Just keep it short, keep it sweet. This is what it is, this is what it does. Get swap information. Mm -hmm. Don't be like, this is the wrap and pull out your little ingredients. This is how the science behind the wrap <laughs> works. Nobody cares. Their eyes will glaze over and they'll be like, mm -hmm. whatever. You just say, look, it's a body wrap you wear for 45 minutes. It tightens, tones, and firms your skin. How does it work? I don't know, but it works. Mm -hmm. The business is based out of Florida. The wrap has been around for whatever you want to say, you know, however long it's been around. And I tried it and it actually worked. So what's your information? If they ask you some more details, you know what, I don't know, but what's your email and I'll email you the information. Mm -hmm. What's your cell phone number? I'll text you. You know, just switch that. Keep it stupid simple is what he told me. Mm -hmm. He said in summer sales, they teach us kiss. Keep it stupid simple. And we try to overthink it, but it's not. It's very... Anytime I've over... You know, I watch their eyes close over and I never get any... Info, I mean, I never... They never talk to me ever again about, yeah. you know? But if, if you keep it... You answer their one question... That goes with everything, not just blitzing. Yeah. That goes with... When someone writes you on Facebook, uh -huh. do not send them a 40-paragraph... <laughs> oh, I've done, I've done it before. I, I read... It. Oh, she, she's still... Even after I told her not to do it, she was still <laughs> doing it. And I'm like... I would catch her. I'm like, Ash, stop. 
You'll what are you writing so much? Because really they message. start, they're like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If someone says, I'm thinking about joining your work, should we give me more information? Awesome. Instead of going and be like, well, here's more information, be like, oh, cool. What got your attention to want to join the work? It's like almost like an interview process. Yeah. You, you want to build a relationship with people. You don't want to just be like, oh, this is where you join. This is how much it costs. This is the product. This is how much money you make. Be like, what want, made you want to join? My husband lost his job. Oh, that sucks. I'm so sorry. But I really think this would be good for you. If, if this is something you can commit to, let's do it. Let's rock and roll. Here, this is my website where you sign up. Go sign up and I'll send you some videos. They sign up, you send them videos. They don't sign up, follow up with them a couple Following times. Following up is key. Just yeah. be like, hey, be like, I really think this business is what you need. And I promise I can give you the coaching and I can help you use the, get the tools and the motivation you need to work this business, to do what I did. I'm here to teach you. That's my job, is to teach you how to do what I did. So remember, keep it stupid simple. Don't go overboard. Build that relationship with them. People care way more for the relationship than they do the information you give. Yeah, you know what? Last time we were blitzing, actually, and I forgot to say this last night, but um, someone asked, like, well, how does it work? Like, exactly. Like, it, tell me the exact science behind it. Even if I told said, you it, you This is like... what he said. He goes, he goes, do you know how chapstick works? And Or what else did you say? I said, do you know how sunscreen? chapstick works? And I said, well, no. I said, but does it work? Yeah. I said, well, do you know how sunscreen works? That's no, awesome. I said, but sunscreen works, right? Do you go into the store and you're like, how I want that sunscreen because I'm going to be in the sun, but how does it actually work? Yeah, Who that's cares? So, that's really good. Why, why do you, work. you know, don't yeah. be rude. I sound rude in it right now, but, but just, uh, mm -hmm. I don't Make know, but it works, like, okay, you know? Say that to know, like, You know, to, to be like, there's other things in life that you don't need to know, the whole science behind it. I don't understand it. Listen, I, I have read up on that science so much, and I will tell you, I still don't understand how Yeah, because we're not scientists here. You can look at the science behind the rap, and you can act like you know what it is, but <laughs> I probably would be a lot smarter in somewhere else in my life if I knew what that yeah. how it actually worked. <laughs> Maybe a doctor or something. So, <laughs> yeah. don't be afraid of people asking questions when you blitz, or yeah. how does it work? And even if you don't know, it's... Not the envelope. Don't yeah. like, uh, because then I like, oh, say, I don't, I don't know, but yeah. do you know how chapstick works? Mm -hmm. Use that. And that's another thing, too. Everybody. Who when cares? you get new distributors, I only show them the party pad and the steps of success. They don't need to know yeah. everything. Yeah. They just, we did it. Like, exactly. We, we, so did, we learned it. We for people who, like, I do have a distributor uh -huh. who, like, has to know everything <laughs> in the whole <laughs> business. Yeah. Do you guys, have you ever, have you ever listened to Eric Warren? Like, yeah, I've seen that. Eric Warren I've, talks I've about a day. distributor <laughs> that he yeah. knows that joined a company, and before he would start selling it, he had to know everything about the business. He went and he learned everything that he could learn, and he, he figured out everything about the business. And when he finally figured it out, he didn't have that drive and that passion he needed to work the business. We have a few girls on our team that they tried that. that. Yeah. And guess what? They, never they didn't get one distributor or one yeah. loyal customer. Yeah. Because they were like so worried about, guess what, Ashley yeah. jumped in this business and didn't even know what it was called. She didn't I know what it was it. called, it no, works. Yeah. Yeah. She so, was signing people up and was like, so I don't know, go what to is this thing. business called? Yeah. <laughs> so I was, this, is a, this is my biggest tip to people like that. I always say, what are some action steps you're doing to get you those customers and distributors? Because if, if they're not doing anything that's actually getting them people on their team, they're not going to ever make money. You know, if they're only studying mm -hmm. and like scared behind their computer, they're never going to grow their team. And that's the only way to make money is by getting customers and distributors and customers, you know? Steps so steps, 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 steps. I always say that if they're not just say, you know, how are you coming on your steps to success this month? Do you need any help? Like, Oh, well, I haven't signed anybody. Okay. What are some action steps that you could do? That's you good. could go blitzing. You could go, um, Let's get some wraps on people. Start posting about it. And if they're worried, like, well, what if I don't know their answer? Say, ask me, you know, if, if someone asks you a question, send, send it to me and I'll tell you what to say. Or one of us. Or write it on the wrap page. So, yeah. That's what I would ask. This is kind of back to, like, not quitting bipolar. <laughs> do you remember when, like, when you sign your first little customer, your first distributor, do you remember that feeling you get? Like, oh, I just yeah. did that. You don't like, you're, like, super mm -hmm. excited. Always, like Major said. Whenever you want to quit, remember that feeling. Mm -hmm. remember, it doesn't matter. You're starting with one. You're starting with one low customer. You're starting with one distributor. Remember that feeling you get every single time you sign with somebody new. Yeah. Right? You get yeah. everyone. You still get the feeling like, oh, yay. Exactly. <laughs> you know, like you're super excited. So just remember that feeling. Every time you want to quit, just remember what it felt it's like when you got to when... sign somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, they actually signed up. Yep. I've been talking to them for six months. I don't know and... how that just came yeah. to mind. Um, okay, so for both of you. How do you balance kids, Thomas's career, and your career with it works? Okay, so my biggest thing is it's really easy to get 
kind of carried away on Facebook or Instagram. And lately, what we've been doing is we have, if we catch ourselves surfing, you know, you're like, oh, I'm not, you're just watching this dumb video, and mm -hmm. you're like, okay, that's when I shut the computer down, and I'll make sure I spend so so long with my kids, or you know, after nine o'clock, yeah. our computers are off and our phones mm -hmm. are off. There's there's no it works. There's mm -hmm. no anything unless you're in the middle of a conversation with somebody. Yeah, you're like, oh, see ya. For see us, yeah, yeah. <laughs> family is more important than anything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there's nothing that will come before our family. Not yeah. it works. Not fighting. Nothing. So when nine o'clock comes around, we shut off our stuff and we sit down as a family and we hang out. Mm -hmm. So as for like the surfing, the Facebook. The that minute that you stop working oh, the business yeah. on yeah. Facebook is the time you need to shut Facebook down. Yeah. And you need to, you need to take other steps into, into working your business. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to work the business from Facebook. I always say that that person you walk by in Walmart that you have the urge to talk to or that you're standing next to in the grocery line, that person could be your ambassador. Mm -hmm. That person could be your triple diamond. They could be the reason of the difference between you making $100 a month or $10,000 a month. Mm -hmm. So remember that, that... So everyone everyone yeah. around you could be a potential for you. I talk to as many people as I can. Mm -hmm. Anytime they say anything about the green that we wear or our It Works logos or what works, I love it. Once you ask me what works, I, I got Oh, if somebody asks me, I'm you're in. Yeah, all you're over. like, oh, yeah, let me tell <laughs> got you. Got it. <laughs> well, like yeah. Christy, our ambassador, she, I don't even know what she was, starting out or whatever. She was at a hotel and she's out smoking. And this girl walked out in the smoking and she's like, oh, I won't talk to her. Like, you know how we do it in our head, like, okay, I'll do it, no, I won't. Yeah. Well, finally she did it, and that girl was, like, her fastest yeah. runner, like, yeah, took she, all the way to She hit later. presidential, which made her hit ambassador. Mm -hmm. So you never know. Yeah. And it was some stranger that she just blitz. Yeah. And blitzing is scary. I, I know. I'm not a big fan of <laughs> it. Know. At all. But, like blitz, you said, the like one in person you're Find yeah. people that are on your team, on your sideline, or directly on your team, above you or beneath you. And go together somewhere and blitz. It'll go. Make it, it makes it so much oh, more yeah. fun. You you're in a and group, and if someone like turns you down, so what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If yeah, someone tells great. you no, have you guys ever been handed a coupon? And mm -hmm. are you like, oh my gosh, how dare that person have you a coupon? She is so rude. How stupid! <laughs> you know how how idiotic. I've been thinking about it all day. No and you one probably does just that. look at it with thanks. Yeah. And like, yeah. You just get the coupon and you keep going. So don't be afraid to say, hey, here's a here's a coupon for a it works body wrap. A what? I'm introducing well, a new product in this area. You know. There's so many different ways to do and it. And another one too, like if someone's like, here's a, here's my business card for you or anybody else that you know would want it. So you're yeah. not, you're kind of directing it to them, but oh, give making it, it not yeah. like you need this. Uh -huh. Kind of like anybody you know. I always say like don't this. don't even worry about them thinking that. No. If you, if that's what you're worried about, then that's what's going to happen. Because if they want it, then yeah. they will. If will somebody's work. like, oh, do you think I'm fat? No. Why would you think that? Like no, I. It's not for. It doesn't. It doesn't help with being with that. It helps with tight toning and firming your skin. It's very. Why would you think that? Yeah. You know, it's I, I didn't hand it to you because of that, and you just don't even worry about it. I don't even care. I hand blitz cards to girls. Yeah, all of that. Do you think that I'm afraid of that? No, I'm just kidding. I probably <laughs> should be, but I don't care because yeah. I'm not doing it to insult anybody. I hand them to guys. I hand them to girls. I hand them to every shape and stuff. I don't even care. I'm there to work the business. Yeah. 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 So I, at first, I first when I started blitzing people, I used the girl blitz card up in Logan, and I remember being like, these girls up here are brats, dude. They all look at me nice at first and scuzz me off. I was like, what's up with that? And then I had a, I realized I had a girl blitz card that, and they're like, oh, that I was oh. handing them. So I got guy blitz cards. So when I hand them a guy blitz card and there's they a guy on it, yeah. they're not like, oh, what's that? oh, oh, okay, what is it? You know, and then their, their minds are a little more open versus, oh, it's a girl losing weight. So <laughs> yeah, like, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go back to balancing. Uh-huh. Okay, balancing. <laughs> okay, so I always make sure that. I, I, every day I have like a list of goals because if I don't, then my whole day will just be a whole bunch of nothing will happen. So I make sure to do at least two productive things with it works in the morning, the afternoon, and night. So whether it's follow up with somebody or make a post on Facebook or respond to people. And then it has to be two things that's actually growing my business out, which means people, you know, mm -hmm. like talking to somebody. Connecting. Uh huh. Connecting with people. Twice a day, or let's see, two times in the morning, afternoon, and night. If I've done that, then I know, okay, I'm working towards growing my business. Then I also do things with my kids. I make sure I have like almost like a checklist of we did this and this and this. Mm -hmm. um, and with him, too, because you know, he's important. <laughs> <laughs> so I just mean, um, honestly, just whatever you feel like you're, if your life is so not balanced right now, figure out what you, what you need to stop doing or what you could do more of, you know. If you watch a lot of TVs, maybe don't do that. And we, we actually got cable, 
And I don't think I've even turned it on. I don't even know how to turn it on. So it's still on. I'm still <laughs> like, uh, I'm good with. We got it because it was the same price. It was the same internet, price, so yeah. That's what ours is. Yeah. Might as well have it. And I was like, we need to cancel our cable last night. My husband's like, we pay five dollars more. You're like, like, I guess. I don't, I don't, yeah. That's not a temptation for me. But, but yeah, like, even if it's thirty minutes a day or even mm -hmm. if it's ten minutes, like I just started <clears> doing my goal mm -hmm. is wake up, post on my team page, post on my page, post on my Instagram page. Hit it all right when you wake up. Yeah. So that's, that's you did it. Yeah. And then go out the day, in the middle of the day, you do it again. Mm -hmm. So um, another thing, I follow another ambassador, and she said, make your list at night, it's like six lists, six goals you have planned for tomorrow. That way it's there. Yeah, and I like you see it, it in the morning. night too. Yeah. Because in the morning you're like, what up? You know, then you can be like, I don't know, I don't want to make any goals today. I yeah. just want to stay here and do nothing. <laughs> that's probably, that yeah. Okay. So response of what to say when people say they would join, but it's too saturated or too many people are doing it. I love this one. <laughs> and I love, honestly, this tip is great from Christy. So I'm kind of, like, kind of going to copy what she said. But she always says, okay, like stop thinking of, you know, the eternities. Because you sit there and go, well, how am I going to find a thousand people mm -hmm. if there's already a, all these people doing it? She says, back up and say, do you know, can you find four? Do you think you can find four people that want to tighten, tone, and, and firm a problem area? Everybody will say, yeah, I, I, I definitely could find four, you know, because that's your first goal. It's to find those four. We have no idea where we're going to find the next distributor, the next loyal customer. And still, I can even make a list of people I think, but it'll, it might be completely different of who actually will be interested. So because of that, this whole thing is a journey. And you're never going to, you never know where you're going to find the next distributor, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Blitzing. You don't know that. So we can't prejudge ourselves like, Oh well, since this person's doing it too, then mm -hmm. I guess, then I guess I can't. And I had a potential distributor today that I talked to, and she said, "Well, I just—is it really a good time to join? Because I feel like if I would have joined you a year ago, it would have been good." And I was like, "Well, how many, how many people can you name that sell it?" And she goes, "I guess only you." I'm like, "Okay, well then, are well, you serious? No, are you serious? Yeah." I'm like, "Trust me." And she's like, "Well, I guess I just mm -hmm. see it on Facebook, and you just have to get off Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, if you were out in the..." out in the real world talking to people, most of them will still say, I have no idea what that is. But just because your group of friends is on Facebook, and obviously I have almost a thousand distributors, you know, so I see a lot of it, mm -hmm. but not everybody is like that, you know. But really stick to the, if you can find those four customers, you know, and then you're going to help them with their party, and you're going to help them. Because they look at a basket like, yeah. there's no way. Well, no. Yeah. You start you, little. Of you, course. How many distributors do we have in our company? A hundred thousand? I don't know. Right. I know I 70 know. was paid out, but I don't know how many. Like, yeah, I don't know how many so, are. So say, so say there's 80,000 active distributors in the world. In, in the, the world. world. In the world, yeah. you guys. Yeah. Go, go to Walmart and Mary Kay has, what, like 2 million distributors mm -hmm. or something? Yeah, they probably have that in, like, Ogden or Utah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, all right, come yeah. on, dude. And people are still signing up to sell those mm -hmm. other network marketing companies. So, no, this business is far from sad. And I always tell people, too, when they say this, is... You don't have to worry about just because she sells and she's your friend. Do you know five people that know five people that know five people? Oh, yeah. That's exactly, exactly. like... Like at Green just, Carpet, do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. Mike what? Pitillo, uh -uh. where he goes... He he, he's on a Facebook... Ambassador. Yeah, he's on the... Fa he's reading on Facebook, on his phone a Facebook post about someone who has like 13 family members that are all triple diamonds and higher. Like all of them, this. the entire... Th you don't remember uh -huh. this? He talked about it, it was like. Carpet. This guy was ambassador, his sister was presidential, his, his mom, mom was, was triple, triple diamond. diamond. His, and he goes, don't you think all of them thought they knew the same people, but how are they yeah. all mm -hmm. making over 15,000 each I think it was one? double diamond or above. Because yeah, I crazy. know so many people that she doesn't know. Or that yeah. she doesn't, you know what I mean? So everybody knows mm -hmm. a whole different group of people. Yeah. Even Facebook, you see it constantly <clears throat> all day. But None of you know anybody that I know. Yeah. I can guarantee that. Yeah. I know a whole different group of people, and you know, like my whole group, group of friends people. and my group of people are people she doesn't even know really. Yeah, and then my fighter and then those people all know obviously different people, so it's really just networking. Yeah, and like that's my friend, how... my best friend who signed up the other day, Lucas. He, he we we're best friends. We hang out a lot. We our families are always going on double dates together, mm -hmm. but he knows nobody that I know. His yeah. whole entire market is a whole different group of people, and he wasn't even worried. It was cool. He like brought it up to me. He's like, I was thinking like we don't even know the same people. Yeah. We, we don't, you know, so I'm like, yeah, go out there and get it. This mm -hmm. business is not saturated. It's so far from it that yeah. you guys would Mondra be pulling away. I love when she, when someone asks her that question because she's like, I get so mad. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, there's no possible way saturation shouldn't even be a word, mm -hmm. you know, with this. 
but we think that we all be like okay did I reach the last person I could ever find you know but nope. no no you'll always mm -hmm. keep going people are watching you that you have no idea that they are mm -hmm. <laughs> yep um, response to nobody wants to join to order or join like when they're like nobody wants it nobody we can't what get are it. you like, doing I, what, always, what, yeah. I, I ask what are you doing and if they say, well, I made it, I make posts on Facebook. I go and check out their Facebook page. And if they're airing their dirty laundry on Facebook, oh, my, my boyfriend cheated on me again, that mother bleep bleep. And say, guess what? Your Facebook page is your business. Uh -huh. That is where you advertise for your business. If you're negative and being a Debbie Downer all the time, do you think anybody wants to join your team? No, you don't, nobody wants to be around one. negative people. They want to be around happy, exciting people. I used to be super into politics. When I actually joined this business, I cut it out of my life yeah. because I posted on Facebook about so it a lot. Negative. And it caused a lot of <laughs> arguments with people. And it yeah. made me unhappy. I was like, you know what? I'm just unhappy doing this. I, don't, I, I want to be educated on it, but I'm not going to talk about it anymore. So I don't talk about anything that's personal like that. I mm -hmm. talk about how much I love my family, how much fun I have doing it works, and I stay positive all the time. Mm -hmm. No one wants to be around you if you're negative. No one wants to join your team. Now, so, other yeah. things they could be doing is, we, we ask, are you wrapping are, people? Yeah. Are, are, you, are you, like I said, if you're not wrapping people, you're, you're not working. Mm -hmm. Why can't get anybody to buy a wrap? Well, what are, who are you talking to? Show me, show me some messages you've sent to people. Show me what you're doing that's not working for you. Most of the time, it's, there's not really a whole lot of effort behind it. And, you know, some people, it might be harder. Some people are blessed to have uh, 10,000 friends mm -hmm. or something. And it's like, oh, it's so easy well, for them. But, yeah, yeah, it's so much easier for them. But um, honestly, I would say if you're not having a lot of luck on Facebook, then you need to be trying flitzing, you know, go on parties or and parties, yeah. Go out and do that and throw incentives to people to throw your first party, you know, like do something besides just giving them a wrap, you know, to get some. Another thing too is I wrote, I message, I had so many people a day that it's ridiculous. Yeah. And I message them and I was like, hey, just trying to get my name out there. Have you ever tried this crazy wrap thing? I'm doing a summer special. I'd love to wrap you for free gets their attention yeah and so they're like for free and it's like yeah set up an appointment with me invite a couple friends and I'll wrap you free and them 20 yeah so it's a party but in their mind it's, it's an, appointment. an appointment yeah and that way I'm getting out there wrapping random people like today I was supposed to go wrap around a person that I don't even know but she canceled because her mom's sick but her mom really wants to wrap so now I'm going Saturday oh my and I don't even know because they're random people I have on Facebook yeah scary you have to be I the one to step out of my comfort yeah. zone really yeah. bad but you know what I mean you mess random people yeah, that's scary. <laughs> and you say that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Because they're, like, they're like, oh, right, they're free, but they say yeah. free, but then you can't yeah, Actually, I got it. a message today from a mortgage lady that was like, hey, I did Miles Welk's mortgage for him, and I'm just, you know, I noticed that you liked the picture, and I was wondering if you or anybody you know is in the middle of refinancing. Or and did you look at her home. bad? No, no. I, I wrote her yeah. back and I was like, you know what, I'm not in the market right now, but if I know anybody that is, too. I'll send them your way. Yeah. I wasn't like, how dare that lady? Oh, right? she is so yeah. right. And I didn't just delete <laughs> yeah. a message and delete her. I was like, cool. She's out doing something mm -hmm. different to work her business. It's She's networking. trying something different. Mm -hmm. So, I, of course, I was like, yeah. So, if, if people, if you're, a, don't be afraid to go message people. Yeah. Add people that aren't mutual friends with any of your works distributors. Mm -hmm. I will say a lot, a lot of, of my distributors have come from random ads. Oh, yeah. I've had a few. A lot of them. And, um... I, had, I wrote a girl that same thing, and she's like, no, but thank you so much. I'll keep you in mind because she does beach body. Okay. Where they yeah. send people to whatever they want. Uh -huh. Like, you want this, well, I'll, like Herbalife will yeah. probably work for you. You want this, it works. Well. So she's like, you will be my it works rep. And I was like, sweet. Thanks. Sweet, awesome. So if I never messaged her, she would have never known I did. You know what I mean? Yeah. You would have gotten that So connection. it's scary, but. <clears throat> yeah, you totally, yeah. If, yeah, you just got to. Do something different than you're doing if you're having no luck, you know, like really. Change it up. No luck, then you've got to be doing, if, you're, if you've never blitzed, then that's what, you know, okay, I guess I better go start doing that. Okay, so for, let's see, Thomas, when did you realize you were all in? Uh, I was, I was kind of supportive the whole time, not really, but <laughs> like I, you I, I mean, I, whatever in. Ashley wants to do, she's my wife, so I'm like, okay, I'll never stop you from doing whatever you want. You know, you, you do what you want to do, and I'll watch. <laughs> so probably when she hit Diamond, when she actually promoted a Diamond, because she was trying to go for Diamond at, it was like 10 at night, and I was like, babe, I'm like, just hit Emerald. That way mm -hmm. you get paid on all your levels. I'm like, so your check will still be great. And she's like, no, I'm going for Diamond. And I was like, okay. And I was like, sure you are, but I'm like, at least just make sure you're going to hit Emerald. She's like, no, I'm hitting Diamond tonight. I'm going to do it. I'm making it happen. 
So I just, I sat back and was like, okay, whatever. She oh wakes God. me up at like two in the morning. She's like, <laughs> I did it. I hit diamond. It says diamond. I totally did it. And I was like, no way. I look, I remember, I was like, how much do diamonds make? Too. She's like, an average of 1900. And I was like, wow. <laughs> like, what is that? Are you serious? So the next morning I woke up and my, I went and met with a friend. I had met with him a couple times before and he talked to me and he was, I was like, yeah, my wife hit a rank. She joined one of those pyramid schemes. And he was like, Thomas, he's like, he finally, I said it to him all the time. I'm like, yeah, your pyramid schemes, whatever. He actually doesn't work network marketing anymore, but he, cause he made so much money that he's able to retire and he's out of he's his kind business of anymore. He's Eric Worre does. He just like, he's like a other, coach mm -hmm. and he lives out in far West. Other. He has a huge house, everything I could ever wish I had at the time. You know, I, I, I idled him and he's like, he's like, Thomas, okay, why do you call it a pyramid scheme? Well, wh where do you get that from? And I was like, well, it's one of those things where only guys like you are making money. He's like, what do you mean? I started on the bottom. I started with one. I started with one person that joined my team. And then I, met, I created this and he kind of went like this and at his house. And he talked to me a little bit and really, it really sunk in. He's like, you need to support your wife and what she's doing. She's trying to make more money for you. And I was like, yeah, she is. I was like, that's, that's true. He's like, so what are you so negative towards it for? You know what you have bad experience. Who do you know that did this, that, and I thought of someone in my head that I knew and I was like, who told me that pyramid schemes and taught me about them. I guess you could say, he goes, are they successful? More successful than me? I said, actually, no. Like I remember and they're kind of, kind of bums. The person who told me, you know, they're, I don't, I don't want to say losers, but they're not very well off. <laughs> And I, I just was like, man, you're totally right. Like, why am I taking other people's advice when I have you in front of me that has made it to where I wish I could make it? Who actually did it. Who did it with network marketing. Mm -hmm. Who was actually the person who went out and started with one. So ever since then, I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll support her. I, I talk to every, anytime I get a chance to talk to husbands or boyfriends in this business, support whoever it is that's doing this. Mm -hmm. Your daughter, like whatever guy is involved. They, the girls need your support. They need your motivation and your drive to help push them. When they're down on it, you got to help bring them back up. Mm -hmm. It's all. It's really my biggest job is to keep her motivated and motivate you guys. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not the best person at working the girl business side of it because <laughs> but that's okay. I, I'm not good at putting wraps on girls. I will never wrap a girl. Obviously. No girl's going to be like, yeah, come on, go for it. So, <laughs> so I, I bring them to Ashley, though, and I motivate Ashley. When she's feeling down, I know when she's feeling down, and I support her in everything she does. I'm there by her side, and I'm, I will be there with her until the end of this business. We will work this business until we die. We die. This business will be around forever. It's mm -hmm. not going anywhere. But it did take you until Diamond. So there was a comma in my check. That was right. Like, okay. But I, I, wish, I wish I could have met someone to talk to me yeah. that could have told me this long before, when she first mm -hmm. started. Hey, your wife needs your support. I guarantee we would have grown a lot faster with me mm -hmm. supporting her instead of being like, why did you spend $500 on a booster kit? Are you retarded? <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad. I think most husbands do that. She, oh, yeah. she used a credit card we paid off to buy a booster kit. And I was yeah. super bent about it. I was like, it. I'll pay that off in like a week. Just wait. And you did. She did, <laughs> yeah. She, she tore it up. So what's your biggest tip to husbands? Like you that, just said yeah. it. Yeah. Support your support. spouse. Seriously. Do <laughs> From the get-go. Help yeah. them. Like, I, if you guys are married or have husbands or boyfriends or whatever, girlfriends, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, okay. Bring them and talk and bring them to a meeting. Let them talk to me. Let me talk to them and just see it from a guy's perspective. Yes, guys can work this business. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's easier to have a female to help you, but you can work this business. My friends are killing it at this business that are guys. Mm -hmm. They are like, you know what, we're starting, they're branching off and starting their whole new side that it works. The fighter side, the guy side. We got a full team of fighters and guys that are out there blitzing people and bringing them into our other products. Also the rap, but other products. So mm -hmm. support your spouse in anything they do, even in life. Just be a good spouse, be a good husband, mm -hmm. girlfriend, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> girlfriend. Okay, so what, I just might have been in there, but what is your biggest tip to new um, and old DTs? Okay, not old, but... Uh, yeah, his, ones his, that have been in the longer than. Um, well, this question. is for him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you already answered this. I already did. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm saying it again. She distracted me. Your biggest <laughs> tip to new distributors and ones that have been in it for a while. Uh, new distributors, don't be afraid to learn everything about the business. Don't try to figure everything out before you get out there and talk to people. Wrap people. Get wraps on them. So, and for distributors that are already in the business, 
if you're not being successful in the business and nothing's working for you, you have to change your pattern. There's a thing habit. that says, don't change the goal, change, or what is it? Change the habit. Don't change the goal, change, change the Change the way to get it or something. Mm -hmm. So I'm super goal oriented. I'm a very visual and I, when, when we, when I decided that I was all in, I went out and bought books on network marketing, mm -hmm. how to be a network marketing superstar. I went out and got so uh, on the go <laughs> audio books to listen to. I watched YouTube videos to motivate me and I figured things out and I, I put in my effort. I didn't stop working the business, I worked the business with her, but I also wanted to learn more to make me a better network marketer, to make me smarter in making my decision and my habits. So I found out super ha super good habits that work for us. We wake up, we get motivated. First thing we do. This is a sales based business. We have to stay motivated. I motivate us, I get us going, and we work on our goals. We're like, okay, these are my goals today. These are Ashley's goals. Right now, my mind is on the Olympics. That's my goal for right now. Her goal is on it works. Now we mix them and we help each other. Hey, I'll help you with your rap party. If I can go and train and you watch the boys while I go and train. So it's balancing too. Yeah. We're, we're <laughs> back and forth and we're, if you're, want, if you're a distributor and things aren't working, you've got to make a change. Mm -hmm. I always, in, in every book I've read, and one of my favorite books is uh, The Greatest Salesman in the World, which you could go to the DI and buy it. It's a like little book like this. It's and so good though. You can find them anywhere. And the same like habit I've noticed and pattern between all the books and a lot of them, the similarities I found, the biggest one, is they all talk about finding somebody that's successful and do whatever it is they do. Mm -hmm. So if there's somebody like, you know what, I want to be a good It Works distributor. For us, we look at people like Cami Dempsey, Madra Jones, Madra Jones, sorry, and uh, Christy De Jesus <laughs> and Krista Petten, Pettengill. She's one of my favorite ambassadors. She, she probably is my favorite ambassador. We spend a lot of time with her on the cruise. She's a very and her, and her husband are uh -huh. amazing, calm, amazing person. Uh -huh. So yes. I, I, I found out what it is they did in their day. I was like, what do you guys do? You know, what do you guys do different that we don't do? And I, I took some things from each of them, and I was like, okay, that's what I'm going to add into my day because I want to be where you guys are at. Yeah. I want to be in the top 50. And hopefully next month we'll make it to the top 50. 100. Or top 100. At least. <laughs> Let's take it to the hundred first. <laughs> hey, I shoot for the stars. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. That that is true. Um, with okay, when I would watch, I I did a lot of watching. Well, I still do YouTube videos, and when I'd see these leaders say, "Just print off the steps to success," I was like, "Well, how are you going to get to ambassador if you're just finding this is so simple, you know?" But it was really like I'm like, "Why did I not think?" Obviously, they're going to be telling us what to do that's going to bring the most success or else they wouldn't tell us that. It's funny, if a lot not, of people think like, the ambassadors have secrets, they don't tell people. No, Listen, no. those ambassadors, if you guys aren't successful, yeah, they're not successful. Yeah. They're gonna Do tell you get you that? Everything. Like, They're going to tell you everything they can and teach you in every way they can so you can get where they're at because it only brings their check up. Mm -hmm. I say, if you guys aren't doing good, I'm not doing good. Yeah. If you guys lose rank, it's going to cause us to lose rank. Mm -hmm. We want you guys to be successful. I'm never happier than when I watch a distributor pay off debt mm -hmm. and post about it or move out of their studio apartment into a bigger place or out of their parents' basement mm -hmm. into a house. I love seeing stuff like that. Yeah. So. Because you know true. Yeah. Yeah. We're watching. This company actually pays out money. Yeah. I promise. It's not fake. Yeah. We, I, I haven't worked for almost, for a year. Yeah. October. For almost a year. Like one so year. Yeah. I've been a stay home dad. We haven't even been in for two years. Which has so. meant everything to us. Yeah. So. Yeah. I love it. And just know it takes time. Like, yeah. I like the thing, like, dream big, but focus small. Set your goal to diamond or whatever your goal is, but focus on the steps of success. Mm -hmm. Don't overlook it. Because you will never get to diamond like, if you don't I can't do the steps of success. Right. So just little by little. Starts with one. Exactly. That's the best thing ever. I love what they're and doing. And you hear us say it every day, all day. I know. And that's why I'm like, I promise you're going to come to my meeting and get the same mm -hmm. information. I'm sorry, but, but that's all I do. And that's all. My, my friends wanted to come to them another meeting and with us, and I was like, I do the same thing at every meeting, yeah, just so you know. know. Yeah. Yeah. I can motivate you the same <laughs> way, but I'm going to do the exact same thing. My story's never going to change. My story yeah. will be the same, and my steps to success will be what I talk about, mm -hmm. because another, that's what works. Yeah. Another thing is use your story, your personal story. If it's some just to you that it's like, oh, it will change somebody's life. Mm -hmm. Like, your story, somebody's going to hear it, hear it and connect with it and go, oh my gosh, well, she did, I can do it. Yeah. So, use and your at first, story. You, you can share our story, you know, yeah. like because people think, like, hey, our friends Thomas and Ashley, they I had a gr I had a great job. I felt like 
but we were stuck in our my her parents' basement because we had fifteen grand in hospital bills. We, we just had, can never get ahead. We you just know, can like... never get ahead. Oh, our son was in the NICU for like seven days, and our insurance paid like one hundred and ten grand of it. But the rest, oh they still didn't cover fifteen grand of it. And every time we would start to get ahead, something else would happen. Oh, the card break down, or oh, yeah, like this, it was it was know? constant. Like we prided yeah. ourselves on working on paying off debt before we even joined the business. We were like, we want to do the Dave Ramsey way. Mm -hmm. But there was with the amount of money I made, and the the way that I could never make any more really. I was I was twenty five dollars an hour and I was working twelve hours a day, but I'd be gone for like close to fifteen hours because mm -hmm. like an hour and ten minute hour fifteen minute drive, both ways. So I was never really home. I made decent money. I didn't get to see Simon and Cohen ever. She was pregnant, year, so I wasn't gonna be able to see our new baby anymore. And I just I noticed that I couldn't ever make any more money, no matter what I did at my job. If I was like, I mean, I could get like a quarter raise, but are you kidding, are you kidding like me? Yeah. Like, what does that add up in a year? Like, a hundred dollars? <laughs> so, I I just was like, man, I can never make, no matter what I do in my day, no matter how great of an employee I am, my boss will never walk up to me and say, here's a $10,000 bonus, which is what she was aiming for. Mm -hmm. So I was like, if she really gets that, I'm like, her job is way cooler than mine. <laughs> like, I, I can't, I can be the biggest superstar, and I was a great employee. And my boss to this day writes me all the time. He's my good friend. Thomas, when are you coming back? I'll give you $3 more an hour. I said, dude, I sent her a picture of Ashley. Send him a picture of Ashley's check. I said, when you can match this, I'll come back to work. He's like, well, I'm and he's like, that's not even real. He's like, our branch manager doesn't even make that. And I said, well, until you can do that, I'm like, I'm staying at home with my Sorry. kids. Yeah, and you know what? Like, it's only a matter of time. If you just stay consistent, you will be triple and presidential and ambassador. You know, I'm not making 40 grand right now, but... I will be mm -hmm. one day, you know, and it's just a matter of you. Well, think through. how many times like you or me wanted to quit. I know. And if I would have quit, oh yeah, like oh, yeah. this is so hard. And I had like ruby legs and just completely just stopped. Basically, when I would hit double, I basically started from the very bottom up. Yeah. Because I had legs, ruby legs, completely drop out of me. Like, and that's oh, another yeah. thing is anybody, everybody that you join in this business, you want it so badly for them, but they don't. A lot of them, they join and then they're like, okay, and they okay. never talk to you again. Mm -hmm. It happens. Don't take it personal because that's their business, not yours, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yep. So. Exactly. It's hard sometimes. You're going to get people like, quit. You're going to get people that don't talk to you. Mm -hmm. It just happens. Just move on to the next one. I'm done with the interview side. Yep. I love that. I just feel so awkward with that camera. <laughs>